Saturday, 18th January 2020. The entire family of Akban Udofi Akban in Ikotinyang, Ikaudukishet, it may be local government area of Akwaibom State, Nigeria, bid final farewell to their mother, grandmother, great grandmother, auntie, and niece, late Dickness Dinah Akban Udofia, born into a Christian home and raised with godly virtues from birth. Hence, a commitment and dedication to the things of God. Madaina, a fully ordained deaconess, remained committed and devoted to the things of God even till death. Madaina, who died at the age of 90, was a socialist loved by everyone. Her lovely Christian virtues brought everyone around her, as she was not only lovely, but accommodating, friendly, and an embodiment of peace and love. She was able to keep her family going with her fervent prayers. Mama Daina, a very hard-working woman, very skillful in everything she touched, she engaged herself in palm oil trading, groundnuts, and farming. The funeral service conducted by the First Temple Church of the Nazarene Ikaurogishi in Temekbo, local government area of Akwaibom State, featured various choral groups from different denominations, songs of praises, prayers, and testimonies. <laughs> The Superintendent Bishop, Bishop Professor Keziah J. Omana, in his sermon admonished the people on the great attributes of late Deaconess Daina Apanodofia at home, in the church, and the community at large. <laughs> The biography, which was read by Miss Joy Nse Udofia, described her as a great philanthropist, peaceful and accommodating personality. Without thinking well, Mama was a peaceful and a very accommodating personality, whose friendly disposition endeared her to many. Her friendly and jovial nature was widely known by all, as she had so many acquaintances that looked forward to another encounter with her. Mama really knew how to bring smiles on the faces of people. She was loved by all. The Conestina was a cheerful giver who enjoyed rendering help to people who came in contact with her, irrespective of relationship. She could stay hungry for others to eat to their fill. Ma was known as a woman of integrity until death. Her integrity was not compromised. Speaking on the funeral, the son of the deceased, Engineer Ituru Dofia, attributed the great successful livelihood of the mother to her good Christian virtues, which she imbibed while on earth. 
My mother will be praying over 50 hours for each of us. Another thing I will miss so much is that whenever we want to leave the house in the morning, I'm talking about now. She was staying in my house. Whenever I want to leave the office, but she will hold my hand to pray with me. The Lord really uh, use our mother to bless us. Mrs. Nsika Nodofia, daughter-in-law, also testified to the great generosity and prayers of a good mother-in-law, as was displayed in the life of Ma Dickness Dina Odofia. She was our public. She was our public. She was there for us. The mother's prayer, you know, is a very good one. It's nice for us to be good to our mothers because now we have many things that she has contributed in them. The event which was attended by well-meaning Nigerians drew the who is who in the society. Without any argument, Mama was a peaceful and a very accommodating personality whose friendly disposition endeared her to many. Her friendly and jovial nature was widely known by all and she had so many acquaintances that looked forward to another encounter with her. Mama is gone. Adieu, Ma Daina. Adieu, Dickness Daina. May your soul rest in perfect peace. Amen.